Lisa Davidson. I'm a parent of a junior at Grant High School. I'm very proud of all these students for making this brave and bold movement and choosing to opt out. This is an important part of our kids' education, the challenge and question, and I believe that the SAT gives the information that my child needs to give for the college entrance. Also, the funds that are spent on these testing should be back in the classroom to give my child a fuller, richer education. I'm proud of you guys. Hi, my name is Bill Kelly. I am a proud father of Katie Kelly, who represents Lincoln here today. Um, speaking as a father, as a taxpayer, and also as someone who's worked for the last 12 years to provide services to schools all over the country, I can tell you that the unfunded mandates of No Child Left Behind uh, have unnecessarily diverted resources away from personalized local learning and into a testing regimen that is of dubious value. So I say it's, uh, it's high time that the students themselves are speaking up and acting uh, on their experience. Uh, and I'm really proud of them and support them. Good morning. Uh, I am a dad. Uh, my name is Bria Justice's dad. Uh, I'm here to support the students here. Uh, I'm proud that they're here uh, not only addressing this issue, but honestly doing what I think uh, some legislators uh, in our administration should be doing. Uh, I support and agree with them uh, that these tests uh, are not equitable. And as a parent, one of the things we try to teach our children is that when you're wrong or you make a mistake, you own that. And you try to you know, rectify that mistake. So we are asking Governor Kitzhaber to uh, acknowledge that you know these tests are wrong, they are not equitable, and Governor Kitzhaber needs to you know change how these tests are administrated and uh, fix the mistake. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.